something really positive is going to be exposed. There's some good news coming to someone. Someone's about to experience some unveiling. There's going to be a reveal. Something very positive for somebody. <clears throat> some secret may be revealed. But it's going to be a very happy secret for once. <laughs> I know we're so used to the bad things. High priest or priestess. So this is about a high priest or priestess. Or this is going to be revealed either by or to a high priest or priestess here. Um, I'm hearing it's going to make your day. So there's some something really good that's going to be made known. And it's going to be a really good thing for you. So let's see what else we can get. <clears throat> so you may have been hurt you may have had a lot of conflict going on so somebody was injured there was a lot of conflict going on uh, because somebody was keeping a secret and they were very emotional about the secret or there's a lot of emotions surrounding the secret that was being hidden or kept somebody could have been keeping their feelings hidden Ooh, so this revealing aspect this may be somebody revealing how they feel about you some secret they've been withholding you may or may not have been with this person before um but they didn't have a positive outcome from some sort of secret or withholding some secret where their feelings or emotions um there's a lot of emotions um regarding some sort of communication and a lot of conflict so somebody may have left you alone to fight a lot of conflict or battles kind of on your own and they are kind of in deep regret for not being there for you supporting you maybe when you needed them um, they could have been busy with, um, you know, other things, other people. Uh, but someone is in regret because they've been withholding their emotions. Or something regarding emotions or feelings. Um, they're feeling some type of way <clears throat> about whatever secret this is. So, there was some tower moment that hit and someone being in despair. So, somebody could have been in despair over not being able to be there for you when a tower moment hit. And they could be experiencing bad luck because they could have made a wrong decision to not tell a secret or to keep something hidden. Or to not choose you, maybe when they had a chance. Somebody could have been concerned about their financial stability. And so they kept something a secret because um, they could have been married or in a relationship. And, um, you know, it, I've heard this saying before, it's cheaper to keep her, you know, kind of thing. So somebody may have made a decision to stay in a, a relationship or marriage with somebody else just because it was going to cost them a lot of money. They were more concerned about money or finances, um, you know, and somebody could be in deep regret about that. But somebody is about to get some sort of information with a page of swords. Something is going to be made known. Someone is getting educated. Secrets are coming out. There's a king of cups here. So there's a king of cups that could be enlightened, being enlightened, awakened, educated um, about something regarding a high priest or priestess. Um, or vice versa, depending on where you fall in this situation here. Um, somebody could be getting information about this King of Cups. Uh, possibly that they're emotionally balanced, they're very stable, they're very loving, you know, the love and light. Um, very caring. And there's a message of concern. This, this is concerning to somebody. Whatever information this person is receiving, um, this is like tearing them up, like... They feel like they feel like they betrayed you in some sort of way, whether you're with them or not. Maybe this is a past person you were with, but maybe you've remained friends or something like that. Someone is getting enlightened about something, and it's really um, affecting them in a certain kind of way. I mean, it really is. Someone rushed in with a lie with the Knight of Swords, so somebody may have lied to another person. Um, or this person about you in the past. But someone someone here is getting a message of concern. Somebody made the decision to rush in with lies in the past. This is what sparked a tower moment. It's some sort of lie that was told. Um, I'm hearing I don't love you anymore. So that could have been the lie. Somebody could have lied when they said they didn't love a person anymore. Um, someone's growing pentacles, finances, resources, whatever seed somebody has planted, they're starting to show fruit, they're growing. This is a message of concern for somebody. Hmm. 
I'm not understanding why it's concerning, but someone is concerned about somebody getting money. And this has to do with the secret that's being withheld. And somebody still has feelings for another person, but they're keeping it hidden. And I'm picking that up as well. Yeah, so I told you that somebody was all up in their feelings and emotions. Somebody loves somebody. So somebody wants to come towards somebody and possibly bring them out of, in the cold, out of the cold here with the Five of Pentacles. If someone's in the Five of Pentacles, if they got left out in the cold by this person or by somebody else, somebody wants to come towards this person and make them a love offer, a commitment. We have a group of people here with the Five of Wands. There could be a group of people working together or communication within a group of people about some sort of money or finances. Um, this could be a group of people that want to work with somebody or partner up with somebody. This could be somebody who um, wanted to start up a business or something like that. And so uh, this could be someone's employees. They're working on rebuilding, restru I'm hearing restructuring, whatever that means. Um, a new position could have been opened up is what I'm hearing as well. So somebody could be getting a job offer with a new position that's opening up. <clears throat> somebody couldn't move forward or there was a lack of movement because somebody was under judgment. Someone here is juggling finances because of a decision that was made in the past. So um, somebody could be stuck from coming towards somebody because they could have um, left somebody out in the cold. An unofficial person did not move on to calmer, calmer waters here. So there's an unofficial person here um, with the Hierophant in the reverse that's not moving forward. Something was stuck and stagnant for this person. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the Queen of Cups and a big tower moment. Oh, because, so oh God, okay, so there's somebody here, <clears throat> this Queen of Cups could be finding out that somebody was not held in high honor and somebody was a thief. That could be the secret that this King of Cups was hiding from this feminine, that they were trying to steal something from them and they're not respectable. But this person could have fucked around and fell in love or they already had feelings for this person. <sighs> this is a really, um... This is definitely a situation ship or something. I don't know. This is something... Somebody meant to be a thief and steal something, but it's like they literally fucked around and fell in love. They have feelings for somebody, and now they want to make them an offer after they stole something from them, and they were not respectable. Yeah. Somebody tried to steal something, but they didn't have money coming towards them, so somebody didn't get whatever money they thought they were going to get, but somebody wants to partner up with you, <laughs> or vice versa. You want to partner up with somebody else. So this person that tried to steal something from you didn't get whatever they wanted, but now they want to partner up with you and some sort of secret is going to be exposed. Um, yeah, someone is withholding a secret they think you don't know. Possibly maybe they don't think you know that they stole something from you, but financial balance has to be restored. So there's something involving money or pentacles here. There's something financially connected to this. So somebody was a thief and they were not held in high honor when it came to money or finances. They could have stolen something um, and kept it quiet or secret. There's a lot of conflict going on with the King of Wands. So this, this Queen of Cups could be dealing with a King of Wands who was a thief. This could be somebody who was a player energy. So this is somebody that... Um, a queen of cups is dealing with but there's a king of cups here that wants to come towards this queen of cups and make them an offer Ooh, wow <clears throat> so yeah we have a lot of conflict that a king of wands is fighting um there's a group of people here that's just going like ape shit Somebody's work was affected. Somebody could have lost their job because of a thief or theft, something like that. This King of Wands is in a position of leadership. They could have abused their power in some sort of way. And this Queen of Cups is having to deal with something to do with this masculine energy. Uh, yeah, they put themselves under judgment. Someone's under judgment here for being a thief. Um, this involves somebody's work, stealing someone's work. 
this person had an addiction or obsession. So they could have been um, addicted or obsessed with stealing somebody's work or watching someone's work, watching what they were doing. There's an emperor here in the upright here. Man, there's a, okay, so that's a husband, lover, father figure kind of thing. Um, so this could have been somebody that you are in a relationship with or you were in a relationship with, but they're still in your energy. You're still dealing with them. There's some sort of connection that's still binding y'all still together. Um, but I feel like there's a connection to that King of Cups as well. So there is a feminine energy here that's connected to two different masculines in some way. One could be an ex, both could be exes. Um, one could be a father figure, somebody or a lover or, you know, somebody that wants to date you or something but somebody has some sort of addiction or obsession that they ended up being put under judgment for maybe it was a sexual addiction this person could have cheated on this divine femme um so this person may not be this female may not be interested in this masculine <clears throat> this female may choose to stay single uh but even though they're choosing to stay single, there's someone here that wants to come towards them with a love offer. So someone can't travel or move because they're dealing with a Queen of Wands. So this, this King of Wands is married. Mm, I knew somebody was in a relationship or something. Okay, so... There's a King of Wands here who can't move forward or travel towards this Queen of Cups, even though they want to, because they're married. They were a coward. They were tempted. They were not um, very strong. They had a decision to make, and they could have chose the wrong person. Um, I was picking up that energy, and I assumed it was the King of Cups. Maybe this person wants to come back as the King of Cups, or it could be two separate masculines. Someone is admiring someone here. We have the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords and a crossroads, a decision. So somebody has a decision to make. Someone is, has been admiring someone. They want to speak some sort of truth, but they may be baiting the person, like sending mixed signals. It's like, yeah, I admire your, you know, your courage, your strength. I admire what you're doing, whatever work you're doing. Um, but this person has a decision to make. They're at a crossroads, but it looks like a decision has been made to set someone free and have a new start or a clean slate with someone and that was a secret that was being hidden i feel like there's too it could be that they're trying to keep it hidden that they want to come towards this person so for some of you guys some of you guys are dealing with two separate masculines if you're a divine femme some of you are dealing with the same masculine um maybe you were with them at one time um, or they're married. This is somebody who is married, but they want to come towards you as the King of Cups. So I'm seeing this two different ways, but they're keeping the secret. Um, there's a secret that's hidden. Somebody could have a gambling addiction. <clears throat> somebody could have lost a lot of money gambling. All right, let's see. Something is about to be revealed, though. Someone's going to speak a truth. And this has something to do with feelings and emotions and a betrayal and a theft of money. Whether this is two different masculines or one and the same, take it how it resonates. I wish these cards would quit flying all over. I feel like there's just a lot of chaos energy. It's like somebody's frazzled. They're they're going crazy. <clears throat> they have a decision to make. Or they've been struggling with the decision. With the crossroads. It's like there's a stalemate. It's like they're damned if they do. Damned if they don't. So maybe they were separated from um, the Queen of Wands. Somebody could have cheated. Um, you know. The, one of these... Um, people in this relationship could have cheated on the other person that could have caused an ending to the really the relationship here someone's a liar though so someone is lying if this is two separate masculines at least one of them is a liar someone's a liar this could be the divine femme too that's a liar or the female that this king of wands was dealing with is a liar someone is not being honest 
Ooh, and someone's pissed. Someone is mad to find out that somebody lied because somebody was just being annoying. It's like there was a third party interference or someone keeps trying to interfere with someone going towards their divine counterpart. So it's like someone's playing games with someone. So it's like if this is a feminine and two masculines, it's like one may even be in another relationship or something. But it's like someone's trying to string someone along just to stop them from moving forward in a new relationship. Um, someone's going to be really upset about something here. And um, they were just doing something out of spite to annoy someone. It's like rain on their parade or cause them some sort of harm or whatever. There's something that's really different. Solar powered and caffeine. So somebody was really annoying and they're very different. So if this is a king, the king of wands here and they have a choice between the queen of cups and the queen of wands, it's like they are two completely different people. And if the queen of cups was in a relationship with this king of wands at one time before they got with this queen of wands here, um, they're very different. There could be a lot of reminiscing, a lot of thinking back on this person, the relationship. Um, they're, they're having a lot of fond memories, but they've been keeping this very tight-lipped. But someone is finding out that someone is a liar, and they are pissed off. Um, they could be finding out that... Um, mm. This Queen of Wands could be pissed off at this King of Wands for lying about not having feelings towards the Divine Femme. This can also be the Queen of Cups finding out that um, they were lied to by one of these masculines or both of these masculines, depending if they're the same person or not. But there are two different, completely different um, scenarios I'm seeing here. There's going to be a celebration for somebody, though. So something is still going to work out in someone's favor. There's going to be a cause for celebration when this is revealed, whenever, whenever the secret is revealed. So this King of Cups could be somebody new altogether. I mean, I don't know, I'm just picking up the energy that somebody was already involved with somebody at one time. Um, somebody was thirsty. So somebody was, I told you, someone was lusting. So for some of you, this Queen of Cups has been with this King of Wands before. You could have been married to this person. You could have been in a relationship with them. You may have separated. They could have gotten remarried. You could have gotten remarried. Um, you could have just went different directions, ended up in different relationships. But somebody is lying about how they feel. And it could be this King of Wands that's lying to their Queen of Wands about how they feel about the Queen of Cups. I mean, their heart belongs with the Queen of Cups, so this person, this masculine, wants to come back as the King of Cups and make this Queen of Cups a solid offer, but they got to, they have to deal with that situation first. There's a lot going on here. Ooh, when I see a story, there's a story here. <laughs> there's definitely a story. Someone has divine protection, protected by an attack. Yeah, someone feels very protective over somebody. And it's like those feelings never went away. So if this Queen of Cups was with this King, um, you know, King of Wands, um, you know, they have to get rid of the third party before they can come back as the King of Cups. Um, maybe they're going to tell this person that they've left this person or they're not with this person anymore, that they're single, they're free, and now they're able to make this love offer um, but somebody was lusting and thirsting after um, somebody. It's like they moved on, but their heart stayed back with the other person, you know. And that's come out before in a reading. And um, so this situation could be coming to an end, or it did come to an end. And when it comes to an end, remember, past, present, or future. So this could be the situation leading up to what is going to come for some of you. So this is the situation regarding the King and Queen of Wands. But... The Queen and King of Cups is um, the divine connection, actually, or a, a connection of some sort here. They could have already been together, and there's some sort of reminiscing. Um, it's like someone's torn between two people, but it actually may be the masculine that's torn between two females. It's like you could be mirroring each other. If you're like soulmates, twin flames, whatever, you could be mirroring each other's experiences. 
So if this masculine is torn between you and the person they're with and they're trying to separate from them and break free from them, you could be dealing with that if you're a divine femme on your end as well. So keep that in mind. I'm seeing it both ways. Uh, I'm seeing both ways. So I'm seeing a lot of different scenarios. For some of you, you're going to be so lost, you're going to be like, huh, I can't follow all that shit. And some of you are like, yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Somebody was thirsty, and they feel like a fool. They were a fool. Um, they didn't take care of someone. They were supposed to take care of someone. Um, but they're thinking about sleeping with someone else. But if they did it right now, it would be a third-party situation. So somebody has to get rid of somebody, because the Divine Femme or Masculine is not going to entertain a third-party situation. So wherever you are on the timeline of this, somebody could have already set themselves free from this person and they're getting ready to come towards the person they want to be with. Um, and for some, this person is gearing up. There's a big revelation. Um, I've been hearing a lot about this um, 222 portal about revelations and things, you know, being brought out, you know, being exposed. Um, so something could be in the works here. Someone's going to be getting a message um, or some sort of communication that someone has left a third party and um, they're, they're single and they want to make another person a solid offer. Whether you've been with this person or not, this person is torn about coming towards you. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be the situation where you were with this person, but I'm getting a strong past tie energy. And you don't know it unless this person tells you. I mean, they haven't told you this. It's not, I mean, they're not flirting with you. You know, maybe they've been testing the waters a little bit. But somebody wants to grow old with you. This is somebody that maybe you thought you were going to grow old with. And, you know, this message isn't for everybody. So it is what it is. Somebody wants to marry you. Like, bad, bad. Somebody wants to lock it down. Someone definitely wants to put a ring on it. I'm not joking. They're trying to figure out how to get to you, how to do it. Um, yeah, this masculine, this emperor is wanting you. But maybe they did something really dark or shady in the past. They could have stolen something from you in the past. Um, you know, even your happiness. You know, if you were happy with this person. Um, maybe when you were with them before, it was a toxic relationship or something. But... But it's showtime. Someone's going to show back up. Someone's going to, sh going to show back up. And it could be somebody from your past. It could be surprising. Someone's going to try to um, rope you in. Someone wants to rope you in. And it may be shocking for you to find out who it is. You may be surprised to find out who wants to make you this love offer. But there's someone here who's scared that... I feel like it's the third party. This is somebody who's partnered up. This female could be scared that this person is going to go towards their divine counterpart. So this would be like the Queen of Wands that is with this King of Wands. But this King of Wands wants to go towards the Queen of Cups. So maybe they separated for a while and this masculine started thinking or letting his mind drift back towards this queen of cups that you may, you know, you may have had a family with, you may have been in a relationship with that, you know, that you were already connected to in some sort of way. There's still some connection. Otherwise they wouldn't be in this energy. So you're still connected to them in some sort of way. Maybe you share children. Um, maybe you just remained friends, something like that. There's going to be a reason to celebrate though. That's because somebody was doing really shady shit. Someone was throwing curveballs at somebody to keep them um, trapped in an illusion. So somebody was confused about which direction to go. You know, I, I said the cheaper to keeper thing. Um, another secret that could be being withheld is this Queen of Wands could have been doing spell work. You see, he's got three balls there. Those three um, little glass balls. Um, one secret could be that uh, there's a, the Queen of Wands is nervous about this masculine finding out that they were doing something shady to this Queen of Cups out of jealousy or spite because they were afraid that this masculine was going to leave them for this Queen of Cups. There's a huge tower moment. I mean, huge. Someone is hiding a huge-ass secret. 
you don't know, someone was putting on a show, and this could have been the Queen of Wands who was putting on a show to keep their claws in the King of Wands. Um, but this King of Wands wants to be the King of Cups to his, you know, divine counterpart, somebody his heart belongs to. There could be a lot of love feelings between these people, but they're not expressing it or someone's not saying it. It's like a secret that's being kept. Maybe by both people. Maybe you're civil, maybe you're just on good terms, but there's some emotions. There's emotions being hidden. You're going number one. You've got ten seconds. So someone got promoted to boo number one. I'm, I'm just... Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just reading the cards. If it's not your message, let it go. Um, but someone has decided. Someone's made a decision here. And uh, they choose you, Queen of Cups. They choose you. They're going to. I like the people I work with generally, except for, with four exceptions in the reverse. I framed animals before I framed a raccoon for opening a Christmas present, and I framed a bear for eating out of the garbage. So somebody was set up, and it could have been the Queen of Wands who did something really shady to this masculine. And this masculine could be finding out about this, and that could be why they want to go back towards the Queen of Cups, because the Queen of Cups would never do to them what this Queen of Wands is. It's like they're completely opposite, right? So one may be more peaceful, more settled, more emotionally balanced. That's what the Queen of Cups is, is someone who's emotionally balanced. Meanwhile, this Queen of Wands, they're unstable. They bounce around. They're depressed. They're, they only end in disappointment. They could be a cheater as well. They did something. Okay, and we have somebody who was very confident, you know, I get like pompous ass energy from this, um, and it could have been a masculine that tried to set somebody up to do something regarding a work situation. There's a masculine energy here, um, and that could have been part of the betrayal, part of something that, um, another secret, there's a lot of secrets, man, there's a lot of secrets in this reading. I'm just picking up on this. Another thing that's being withheld is this masculine or a masculine, depending on if it's two separate masculines or not. So keep that in mind. There could be two separate ones. Somebody here <clears throat> um, did something with somebody's work situation, set them up with something at work, and somebody could have lost a job. Um, this could also be a feminine who did something with some masculine's work to set them up for something, but, you know, flip it how you need to. Somebody set some, somebody up at work and they worked with somebody's co-workers to do this. <clears throat> but someone is still blowing up. Someone is, um, obviously available for an offer to be made, so someone could be currently single. Through concentration, I can raise and lower my cholesterol. I will. Someone is in control. You could be in control. You're emotionally stable. You're balanced. You're logical. Um, you are in complete control of yourself. And this is amazing, somebody. If you were with this King of Wands at one time who wants to be the King of Cups, um, you are a completely different person than what you were when you were with them. It's like, where was this person when I was with them before? It's like, maybe you had a temper on you. Um, obviously, I feel like it's not as bad as the Queen of Wands here um, in the reverse. But, um, you know, you could have reacted very differently. You could have handled things differently. Maybe you didn't know how to regulate your emotions. Maybe you had a lot of healing to do, okay? So, a lot of times... When there's a connection, soul connection, twin flame, whatever, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on the soul connections and all that shit. I just know what I know. Okay, so take take what you want out of it, leave the rest. <clears throat> when there's a partnership here, a lot of times there's a break off because you have to heal. And then you come back together. I've spoke about this before in some of my older readings. Um, and then there's something shaking up. There's a tower moment that puts you back to where you're supposed to be. But y'all couldn't have healed while you were together. You had to go your separate ways and do your healing. Now, this person looks like they're working through it. Um, whoever you are, the Divine Femme, it looks like you're already there. You're balanced. You're in control. You're ready to go. Um, you could be blowing up. You could be getting attention. This person knows their time is running out. They want to come towards you. Um, and it's been coming out a lot lately about a married couple. So um, this person could still be attached they, you know, it just depends on where you are in the timeline. 
You could hear this message today and it won't be relevant until two years from now. Just because you hear it today doesn't mean everything's going to happen today. Okay, so keep that in mind. Oh, there's about to be an altercation though. Uh, someone, it's like you're in control. Someone is not. Someone's going to lose their shit, okay? So, if this is, you know, man or woman, if you have a choice between two people, one is in control of themselves, and the other one's about to lose their shit. Um, there could be an altercation, vis physical, verbal, you know, um, words are going to be exchanged. To avoid illness, expose yourself to germs, enabling your immune system to develop antibodies. I don't know why everyone doesn't do this. So someone is upset that someone's not sick as well. That someone is not run down, that someone is... Like, somebody could be exposed to a lot of toxins or pathogens or illnesses and they could heal really quickly. Someone could be upset about that too. Like, <laughs> you could be a healer. It's like, man, you can't win. Someone's always jealous of you. Someone's trying to compete with you. Whether you're the man or woman, I mean, this is crazy. When I die, I want to be frozen. And if they have to freeze me to pee in pieces, so be it. There's a cord cutting that was done or is being done. Um, however you fall in this situation, there's, there's a severed tie here. Something is getting ready to be severed. Something is falling to pieces. There's about to be an announcement. This could be an announcement of a divorce, separation, um, confessing their undying love for you. Hey, this is over and done with. Now I want you. You couldn't handle my undivided attention. So someone may not realize what they're getting themselves into. You may have been single for a while. Okay. Um, but also you've caught the attention of somebody and they can't shake you. They can't get you out of their head. They're dreaming about you. Um, you think you're excited. You should feel my nipples. This person's excited or you should see my nipple. No, it says feel. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Someone uh, wants to give you their undivided attention. You excite them and there's going to be communication about it. They're, they're, this could be in the form of a phone call, even some sort of communication. They, they want to hear from you. They want to talk to you. Um, there's going to be an expression here. There's going to be like um, someone laying it all on the line, and they're going to they're going to let it all hang out. I mean, someone's going to uh, just say what they got to say, and I guess um, hope that you'll give them a chance or something or accept their offer. But there's a couple people here who is not going to be happy. Or at least one. You know, if this is the King of Wands, if the if the King of Wands and the King of Cups are the same person, uh, there's going to be a female that's not happy. Um, if these are two different masculines, then, you know, you both are going to piss off a couple people when you hook up. Someone is getting their 15 minutes of fame or they are about to. This There's a calm before the storm. Something could be happening in the nighttime or in the morning time. So between nighttime and morning time, there's a calm before the storm. Something could be erupting here. In the springtime. So in the springtime, someone's going to be getting their 15 minutes of fame. There's something significant about Libra and a fall. Um, so during the fall, um, something happened with a Libra. Someone's pissed off because they're finding out that someone was not a good, kind soul. Meanwhile, someone's patiently waiting, being single, okay? Patient, patience is a virtue, so you're, whoever you are, you're not in a rush, even if you're the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, whatever. You're not in a hurry for, you know, whatever. You're just trying to live life, do whatever you got to do. Um, but, you know, you're being patient. You're waiting for the right one, the right person, the right thing. And someone is admiring this about you. 
there's a Leo here that's spinning their wheels uh, because they're beating a dead horse. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's going to be a pissed off Leo here in a situation. Somebody could have had someone arrested or somebody could have went to jail. So someone who was not a good kind soul could have had someone arrested or somebody was in jail or if they're going to go to jail, they could be facing jail. Somebody wants another person to get off their back. I mean, someone just wants to leave. They want to be done and over with. Uh, but someone's just not letting them go. They could have had them arrested because they wanted them to leave and they just didn't. If someone just refuses to accept the truth. Something is crashing. Somebody could be getting into a crash or wreck. Darling, I want to destroy you. So somebody could get into a wreck while traveling towards someone to cause them some sort of harm. Somebody was praying prayer in the reverse and step by step so somebody was praying that somebody would not come towards you and they were trying to stop another person from going towards their divine counterpart and they lied to do this with twisted tongues here so somebody was lying they they want to be saved they're very they could be very codependent yeah someone's not giving up no giving up someone's not giving up they're not going down without a fight they're fighting tooth and nail they could even get physical um, you know, this Queen of Wands, King of Wands situation, it's a, it's a trip. Alright, person, place, or thing, J could be significant. Oh, someone could be a jerk off. <laughs> someone could be going to, um, manually stimulate. E, J-O-E, someone's name could be Joe. You. P. Rupert could be significant. RuPaul could be significant as well. E. Mm, someone could be getting accused of the R word. R A P E. Another O. All right, I'm getting double letters here. So there's a partnering up. Someone could be partnered up. Someone's trying to partner up with another person. Someone's trying to break free from a partnership. So I have J, two O's, two E's, R, U, and P, okay? And we'll get a couple numbers. Three, one, one, three. So there's some mirroring going on. One, one, three, three. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.